The Capitol is just a very magnetic building. It has a magnetic personality. It does draw people in. My name is Donna Webb. I am the manager curator of the Chickasaw Capitol Building here in Tishomingo, Oklahoma. We get a lot of people that come here that know this is the Chickasaw Capitol, want to see the Capitol. We do have visitors from all over the world, which is amazing to me that people find their way here. The Capitol was constructed in 1898. This was quite the construction project. Actually, we have to go back to talk about one of the Chickasaw governors, early governors, and that is Robert Harris. Governor Harris ran for office in 1896. He was elected. We are looking at the building he gave the Chickasaw Nation. He was a visionary, yes he was. He was over the construction of the building. He helped with the design of the building. Um, and yes, all the granite actually came from his land. So all the stone was quarried there, cut there, and then brought into town stone by stone. The Chickasaw government was in the building from 1898 until 1907. 1907 was Oklahoma statehood, and at that time, the Chickasaw Nation had to vacate the building. The interesting story as far as the construction of the building, the Chickasaw Nation knew when they were actually building the Capitol, they knew statehood was coming. They already knew that the Curtis Act had been passed. They knew what was going to happen um, at statehood. They knew they were not going to be able to keep the Capitol building. And Harris never let that slow him down, deter him. I think that was one of his thoughts as this building was under construction was that we know we're gonna be leaving it. We don't know how long he wanted it to be there whenever the Chickasaw Nation did come back. He was building a monument, and it was to the Chickasaw Nation. It does represent everything that they have been through, their perseverance, their forward thinking. Every governor, back to Robert Harris, to Governor Douglas Johnston, to Governor Overton James, to Governor Anatubby, they're all connected with this building. This building, represents the past, but it also represents what the Chickasaw Nation has done and will do. I really believe that. It's all connected.